One of the major benefits of getting an ambulance is all of the outdoor storage. I think every relationship has its challenges. We just really wanted to like maximize the challenges and minimize the space. I am a traveling artist. I'm a woodworker and I make jewelry and cutting boards. Hi, my name is Cole. I'm Shay. And this is our Home on Wheels. So in our tiny kitchen here, we've got our black walnut countertops that was originally all one slab, including our counter cover or sink cover. And this is our eight inch deep basin sink. Our nozzle is super awesome because it reaches and does the shower system so you can really spray things off. However, it is a square sink, which is not my favorite feature being that squares and corners are super hard to clean out. Our induction stove top, which we carry our cast irons on everywhere. And then all of our storage as far as our heater and any kind of utensils live just underneath. This countertop is our pop-up. So she's one of our best friends. We pull her up and down all the time. These tiles I got on Etsy from Peru and they were just a fun addition for some funky color in here. These cabinets along with a couple others around the van are actually original cabinets from the ambulance that we repurposed to have a second life in here. I think storage is something you can never have too much of. So this is our bedroom slash living room, dining room, kitchen, whatever you'd like to call it. This is our bed, which we actually had to make custom to size because our bed isn't a genuine queen it's somewhere caught right in between um, and that back corner is one of our storage boxes so we cut the bed to shape and it works really well surprisingly for two adults and a dog in the middle we have storage in this seat here which we keep all of our medical supplies and home cleaning goods and on this side we've got our dog toys and all kinds of our fun things like our switch and board games, things to keep you entertained when you're in the woods, as well as our laptops, which we keep back here when they're not displayed up on our bed for us to watch TV. So the cabinets that are here, the farthest back corner cabinet was actually an add-in. So that's a built cabinet that we needed after some time of finding things we fell in love with on the road. And then these cabinets, as far as this guy and the two, long ones here are our storage cabinets but were originally the medical cabinets which were pretty much stacked here in the back before there was a bed and we rearranged them for what suited our needs best and actually mounted them straight into the frame of the van so they're very sturdy and that means I can put more things inside. We don't have a TV in here, so our laptops used to live on our laps when we were laying down to watch TV at the end of our night, and if that's it's not super ideal nor comfortable, so my wonderful woodworker of a boyfriend decided to make us this very cool cabinet that goes up and down when you don't need it. So it tucks right out of the way. The van didn't have any exterior windows, but it is lined with this really thick steel ribbing that is DOT rated for two and a half rollovers, which is awesome for things like falling tree limbs and things like hail, it protects the inside. However, a lot of ambulances leave a gap for a window and we knew that living in a small metal box, a window was gonna be essential. So we took the shot in the dark and cut ourselves a hole in the van and replaced it with a window. So our ceilings are actually all pine beetle kill from Colorado, which is a really special type of wood actually, because the trees get infested with a beetle that slowly burrows holes in it and it dies over time. And so this is actually treated and it's the best way for those trees to be able to have a life and it's beautiful. So some days, because I'm a remote worker, I spend my days here in our bedroom slash office living room and our table, um, also what hides our garage, turns into a desk for me to work on for my, my eight hour typing day. Our garage can be accessed from the back of the van as well as from this angle, which houses our fridge. It's just one of the cooler type fridges, as well as we keep our dirty laundry and uh, dog food underneath. This was the first build that we had ever done. Uh, we have never done anything like this before. We barely knew how to put a drill bit into our drill. So it was a lot of learning and uh, YouTube University. 
I feel like the build is something we reminisce on more now, of course, after it's done. It's always more difficult when it's happening. <laughs> Most definitely. We learned so much through the process of building this that it was trial and error, not only in learning things to do, but also in our relationship. We were testing ourselves personally and together, and so it was the learning curve the whole way. So like any house, we got our own little hallway, which we keep our necessities and things that we need to keep protected most of the time in this RFID chipped cabinet. That one gets closed and kept down there. And then this one is a connection for all of our electric. And then when we turn around over here, I have all of my dry goods. So I, kept, I keep everything kind of fairly portioned out from one box to another box, snacks, your normal essentials and things all on top of our closet here. Our closet is was the original, one of the original cabinet spaces that we decided to turn into a closet. Some use a um, use the space as like a bathroom, but I figured it's nice to have a little more storage for your clothes. And with us doing a lot of winter sports, those clothes are really heavy. So all of our clothes live here with our pants just underneath. Our two batteries are at the very bottom and most of our shoes get kicked in this cubby down here. We actually kept the original door from the ambulance. It was a terrible red color that I wanted yellow, like the doors you see in The Hobbit. So I got myself a big doorknob so that way when it's closed, the door opens to our magical space. We decided that nomadic or van life was the optimal choice for us because early on we were living in an area where it was really hard for us to make those commitments to go see family and travel home places. So uh, van life was an easy choice for us to be able to get to see family more and spend more time with family. Not to mention how much travel we've been able to do and uh, where we want to find out where we want to live long term. Um, it's a great way to see the entire country. I wish that my job was a little bit more exciting, but to keep it very real, I do medical billing for a company based out of Colorado. And I am a traveling artist. I'm a woodworker and I make jewelry and cutting boards. One of the major benefits of getting an ambulance is all of the outdoor storage. We have a lot of it. This is kind of our catch-all area. We have uh, some stuff that doesn't fit in our kitchen, some major big pots and stuff, um, and then beach bags, art bags, and a camera bag. Right next to it, we have our everyday use stuff that uh, goes outside of the van, canopy, chair, slack line, hammock, hiking shoes. We also have our bathroom. This is our bathroom. Welcome to the garage. Um, one of the uh, major things that you have to do with uh, an ambulance conversion is actually blacking out anything that's red. Um, that's kind of across the board. Don't have any red sirens on your ambulance. Coming inside, we have access to all of the under the bed storage, um, all of our uh, tools back over here. We also have some displays for my Sun Chaser Woodworks displays, um, extra tables, oil pan because you need to do oil on the road and uh, we also have an inflatable paddleboard which is a necessity while you're traveling because that thing fits really nice and easy under there and you can go paddleboard anywhere you want to my girlfriend made these blackout covers that work really really well they are made with just cardboard and reflectix and then we wrapped it with a nice fabric that matches our uh, interior one of the most common questions we get is how do you make money on the road and i am a traveling artist this is my wood shop um, I make uh, different pendants and cutting boards and coasters and all sorts of fun stuff out of wood. All of the wood I use is uh, reclaimed wood that we find um, while we're traveling, just from different people that gift it to us, different people that you know have it in their burn pile, and it's just reclaimed wood from anywhere we're traveling. All the tools that we use to build our entire van are actually in this box right here and uh, makes it very convenient for any kind of repairs. Um, we also have a flip-up counter, so flip-up counter. That's, uh, that's where all of the magic is done. This is the fun compartment. 
Before van life, we lived in Colorado for quite a few years and collected all the fun winter toys. Uh, starting with the split board. We also have the fun park board. And then one of my all time favorites, the powder surfer. With the split board, um, you need some uh, avalanche safety gear to go along with it. And I happen to have all of that right here, including a beacon and an avalanche bag. The avalanche bag is really fun. It uh, keeps me on top of an avalanche in case of a slide. And all I have to do is pull a rip cord and this big orange balloon thing pulls up, blows up behind me and floats me to the top of any snow. No fun compartment would be complete without your own dartboard. Gotta have those things. The last thing on our exterior tour is our solar panels. We have four 100 watt solar panels on the top, bringing power down to two 200 amp hour batteries. And we also have a charge controller and a 3000 watt inverter. Right now we just have AGM batteries, but we are actually upgrading to lithium batteries in the very near future, uh, just because they are much better. I think living on the road in itself as a solo person can have its challenges being that your home is never stable and you have to kind of find peace in that. I also think that there's huge pros to the fact that you're seeing things that most people don't see their whole life and they only get to read about, which makes it magical. As a couple, there's definitely pros and cons to that, you know, just like any couple has, but you find you find the peace in, in those pros and they they definitely outweigh the cons on the the good days one of the cons i think is uh dealing with breakdowns uh mentally and ambulance mechanically wise, mechanically uh the repairs on these are not easy to have just any mechanic do um, sometimes it's a total pain in the butt to find somebody that'll work on it but when you wake up with beautiful views of the ocean it kind of makes up for having to wake up at like, you know, the mechanic's warehouse or, you know, the mechanic's garage. Thank you for viewing our tiny home. If you'd like to see any of our woodworking stuff, you can go to sunchaserwoodworks.com and uh, you can actually order anything. We will ship wherever we are. Also on Etsy as well as Instagram, Sun Chaser Woodworks for Etsy and at Colin Shea to keep up with all three of us on Instagram. And we have a TikTok too, Sun Chaser Woodworks <laughs> on TikTok. And we really hope to catch you along the road.